everyone, I'm going to be doing some box openings today. Um, first, I've got this parcel to open. I've made some space on one of my display shelves and I want to display some of the newer, more recent dolls that I've got. For example, my Katherine Johnson doll and my Scooby-Doo dolls. My I Love Lucy doll, my Lucille Ball doll, ones like that. But the first thing I'm going to do is open up this package that has arrived today. I have an idea who's in here, but I'm not 100%. So let's open it up and have a look. Oh, yes. Here he is. It is Harry Potter in the Quidditch set. I love the Harry Potter dolls and I do have all of the dolls in the set in the other set the one that comes with Hermione McGonagall Ron and Professor Dumbledore now I've got this one and the only one I need now is this one which I've seen in Smith's toy so I may pick him up soon but this one was sent to me by my friend Karen so thank you very much Karen, he's arrived, he's here, he's got his broom, he's got his little golden snitch there, he's got like cuffs on his arms like, um, they're not gauntlets because they're not gloves but they're like arm protectors I think, he's got protection on his legs there, he's got his trousers on, what looks like a robe on top of his sport shirt there. You can see his scar on top on his hair underneath there. Let's open him now. Let's not mess about, eh? Let's get him out. I'm getting fed up with having dolls in boxes that I can't see. I want them out where I can I want them out where I can see them and enjoy them. I'm not really an in-box collector. There, there are, you know, one or two dolls that I would probably never take out of box, but not many. For example, my Marilyn Monroe collection, I don't think I'd ever take those out of box because they're displayed in such a way that you can see them really well anyway. So here is his broom. I don't know whether that stands, does it? Yeah, and he can ride on his broom. Now, let's see, he's got articulation at the knee and at the elbow, which is great. Not sure if he has at the wrist because he's got his cuff on and I can't seem to see. Let's see if we can get the cuff off and have a look. Then we'll know, won't we? I would imagine he has, yes. You can see that he has got articulation at the wrist which put his cuff back on there you can see that his robe or his cape whatever you want to call it is separate his broom is plastic and it has like a stand with it I think his robe will go over his arm cuffs are they gone I'm gonna call them gauntlets because I can't keep saying arm cuffs can I under his robe, you can see he's got on his sports jersey. There's Quidditch jersey. He's got on his sports trousers. And then his big boots, which have like the... His boots and shin protectors are, are moulded into one. They're not a separate thing. They're all one. He's got the knee protection as well. And it is decorated with gold pieces. He stands very well on his own. Then we've got the teeny tiny golden snitch, which I'm going to attach to him and leave on him because I don't want to lose it. So I've got some elastic here, but it was elastic to the... It was elastic to the box. I'm going to elastic it to him with that. There we are, so I can have the golden snitch in his hand, he can win the game of Quidditch today. But I do know that the other doll that you can get in this line, the Draco Malfoy doll, also comes with a snitch. He looks to be dressed in exactly the same as 
Harry, but he's in a different colour, that's all. They both have on they both have moulded on hair, not real hair. He does look very much like the other doll, to be honest. He's got his his glasses are elastic on there. He's nice. I like him. Pleased to have him. Thank you so much for him, Karen. I absolutely love him. Really delighted with him. I'll just show you the back of the box here. Contact the ministry if you have any information. Wizarding World, Forbidden Forest, Forbidden Hogwarts School List. Approach with extreme caution. It's here, Nimbus 2000. Extracurricular activities. You can't actually read any of this smaller writing, but you can see the bigger writing on, on here. It's, it's good, isn't it? I quite like that. It would look good in a Harry Potter room, wouldn't it? Or you could maybe just cut out a small piece of it and frame it as a picture in a room for him. Yeah, something like that. It's good. I like that. So that was him. Then I'm going to open my Spirit Riding Free Girl. I'm fed up of buying dolls and storing them to open later. So I'm going to get these open now because they get stored away and I just don't get round to op get opening them up or have time to open them. And that, that annoys me because I want to be able to enjoy them. So I'm going to get them open. I've decided... I've made the decision, they're coming out. <laughs> so I, this is Prue and I also have Lucky. Now I believe she's not the first edition doll because she's not in this outfit. This outfit is like the aqua green top and the jeans and she's actually wearing a different top and jeans. So I think she's sort of either the second wave or a later wave. She's got her boots on. There, look. Yeah, she is really lovely. She's got a sweet little face, hasn't she? Let's let's get her out anyway. That was the idea. I have shown her before when I got her in my hall. So let's get her out. Here she is. She's got a little curl at the front here. That comes from over there, look. She's got quite a big head for a body, but I do I do like that. I like I like dolls with bigger heads. I think they look more childlike and I like childlike looking dolls. I think the Harry Potter dolls are around 11 inches and she, I think, is just over 12. She's a little bit over 12. She's a bit taller than your average Barbie. But her body is the same size, I think, as a Barbie body. I think you could dress her in Barbie clothes. She's got articulation at the knee, at the elbow and at the wrist. She's made of a nice plastic. She's got almost rust-coloured eyes, hasn't she? Orangey-brown, I'd call those. And like a peachy pink lip. But she's got a, a childlike face and I, I really like that. Her hair's nice, it's really soft, there's no product in there. It's nice, it's a nice length. It is brown with different shades of brown in it. She's got these little fronds here, look, hanging down. She's got one there that will, if you wanted to, you could tuck that into a plait like that. This one, this side, comes across from here and is sewn in. Yeah, she's a pretty doll, I'm pleased to have her. She's got boots with horseshoes on. See how easily they come off. You can see she's got some quite big feet on her and her boots did come on and off quite easily. I think her feet would be about the size of a WWE superhero or a Descendants doll. That's what I think. I think her feet are around the same size as that. So that is our Prue. Yeah, I'm really pleased with her. And I think, you know, if you wanted to, I think she would fit into, into Barbie clothes as well. Then I've got this little one. She is the Evie Love doll. Animal Friends 
Evie Love doll. And I paid five pounds for her from the entertainer. So let's get her out. I did show her when I got her. So let's get her out. I, I actually thought I was ordering a blonde doll who came with a cat and kittens, but uh, clearly I didn't read the uh, thing properly because what I've actually got is a dark haired doll who comes with puppies and comes with a dog and puppies. I'm not worried. I wanted the uh, pets for my doll house, which I really must get round to sorting out. I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I just never get round to it, do I? I will do, I will. Because now I've got that lovely bed from Karen, I've got no excuse. I have got some flooring and I've got some stuff to put on the walls. I've got some, I've got lots of furniture and bits and bobs to go inside. So I've really no excuse anymore. I really must, all I need now is the time to do it. So that's all I'm waiting on really. So here's the little Evie, she's come out. She's got a little pink elastic in her hair and her hair is quite nice and it's quite thickly rooted. It's not sparse and it's quite soft and long. It looks a bit choppy at the back here as if someone's been giving her a, giving her a haircut with a strimmer by the look of her. But her little dress is cute. It's like a little cotton dress with polka dots on it. She's holding one of the puppies and she's got some little pink shoes there. So also you get a little feeding bowl with a turkey drumstick in it or a chicken drumstick. You get one with a, it looks like a rack of ribs in there or a box of fish fingers, one of the two. You get a little bottle and you get a little yellow ball. Also, you get the little Westy dog with the little one puppy there and then there's two there's three puppies all together so there's the one that evie's holding there's this one cute little things aren't they and then there's the one in the basket with mama aren't they cute oh <laughs> they are lovely i'm really happy with those and that set was five pounds so that's even better isn't it so yeah they they're going in my doll's house those puppies are then I'm going to open my Katherine Johnson doll. I've got a pile of them here that I want to open and put on display. So I'm going to open the Katherine Johnson doll, Inspiring Women series. So I got her um, not long ago. There is a video of me when I received her. She comes with her certificate of authenticity there in the box. And her stand here's some of the parts of a stand there's the bottom of it and there's the waist clip and then at the side here we've got the other part of her stand hopefully I can get that out without ruining the yeah done that right here she is out of her box here we are her hair is quite stiff but it needs to be to be held in that style it's got the curls in the back there it's lovely dark really jet black hair it's lovely She's got on her pink and white dress. She has a little symbol on the collar there, which I assume is to do with NASA. She has on her little pearl necklace. She's got little white button detail down the front of her top. Her dress rather, not a top. She's got her ID badge hanging around her neck. Her dress has a black ribbon belt with a gold buckle detail on the front. It has a pink, it has a pleated skirt, which is in a nice heavy cotton. It's a nice quality material. She has on her pearl earrings and her glasses are really nice. The detail in the glasses are lovely. Look at that, they really are nice. She has brown eyes and pink lipstick. She is a gorgeous, gorgeous doll. She has articulation at the elbow and the wrist, as well as the usual five points of articulation. And she has no articulation in her legs at all, apart from the regular hip articulation. So there's no bend and snap in the knee. Her head is quite, quite well articulated. She'd be good for photographing from the waist up, it seems. <laughs> there's no articulation in the body at all. And she's wearing these black sandal type shoes I'd call those so 
that's her those were my dolly openings for today i hope you enjoyed that thank you for watching bye for now